every now and then, there are just sneakers that captivate and capture your imagination because it syncs with who you are, your belief system, and where you are in life. And there is one such sneaker that was for me. Uh, I, as you guys know, I did a Singapore sneaker shopping series a few weeks back. I did like seven or eight or nine videos all about even going down to the Nike employee store over at Singapore, shopping there and checking out the outlets. All of those can be found in the playlist that can be linked. That's linked down below, pinned in the comment section and in the description box. This is one of the last few videos of the Singapore series. There was one sneaker that I actually picked up at the Marina Bay Sands that sold for over a thousand dollars. That's over a thousand Singaporean or a thousand two hundred Singaporean dollars over 50,000, I think, pesos, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this was a purchase that definitely took a lot of thought. This was a purchase that definitely uh, had me struggling inside because of the overall value and the amount of money that I would shell out for it. But the overall quality, the build, the uniqueness, and the styling just really got me hooked. It got the Tito in me hooked. It got the geek in me hooked got the nerd in me hooked and it was just a sneaker that i couldn't pass up on guys this is the airman gildo zen i hope i pronounced that properly if i did it apologies cesare the sneaker inside this box is inspired by the roman empire their characters their icons their imagery and even julius caesar that's why it's called cesare now it is definitely one of the most kick-ass black sneakers that you guys will find. And uh, let's just jump right into it. So as you guys can see, it comes in this really nice Lux Hermengildo Xenia box. You have those pinstripes running across the top of the box, which is actually pretty reminiscent of what they're known for, which is their fabric and their cloth and their suits. So it gives me that vibe just by taking a look at the box. Now, if you pop the box open, you get the full luxury treatment. It's not cheap. It's not like a generic piece of tissue paper. You have that really rich paper with the Xenia logo and even some information about the house listed at the paper. Now, just digging in deeper, you have extra laces over here and you have the sneakers wrapped individually in premium cloth dust bags. The dust bags, of course, have the Urban Gildo Xenia name on them. So it definitely goes hand in hand with your sneakers and protecting them after you use them. So let's take this, these really nice kicks out of the dust bags. This is what the sneaker looks like. And man, oh man, it looks great. I mean, not all of you will love it. Not Some of you will probably find it boring. Some of you will probably find it overpriced. That's okay. We all have different opinions. We all have different tastes. We grew up differently. We all have like different worldviews uh, and, you know, biases. But this one really is just for me. I love the all black look. It appeals to the Tito in me. I love the quality of the materials. It's made from leather through and through really great fantastic quality and you have this woven lead leather that you have here along the toe box and here along the collar and the side that's really hard to do because you have to handmade and hand weave this particular part of the shoe so the quality of this one is just mind-blowing just to give you guys an example as to how hard this is to do a hand woven like leather woven like clutch bag from Hermengildo Zenia probably sells for what? 100,000 pesos, $200. The same size uh, like leather clutch bag or sleeve that you can get from Louis Vuitton sells for like 50,000 pesos. So that's how hard it is to be able to do this. That's the amount of effort needed to be able to put together that woven part here at the toe box and here along the sides. Now, apart from that, you have the three steel X's along the lateral side of the sneaker, which is a fantastic accent to the shoe. It makes it even more kick-ass and it breaks the monotony of the all-black look of the sneaker. Now, you're probably thinking, Carlo, why did you spend so much for a black shoe? Because I get to use this often, even in the office. It's a shoe that I can use corporate-wise it's a shoe that I can use uh, even on a casual day because I love black versatile kicks and that's the reason why probably it really you know got me reeled in and hooked onto the overall design of the shoe now apart from the three X's that break the monotony of the black you also have the red white and black laces here along the middle of the shoe which gives it a little more character and a little more personality now if you go down to the bottom of the shoe as you guys can see here, it's a bit thick it does give that trail shoe trail sneaker kind of vibe which for me is nice because it just adds to the manliness, the ruggedness, and the overall like 
uh, I don't know, Cesare vibe <laughs> of the shoe. Kind of makes me feel that it's some sort of like boot armor, boot armor sneaker from the Roman Empire if I take a look at it. So that's what you get with the shoe. Now, how is it on feet? I was able to actually wear this for well over an entire day, walking all around, clocking in over 15,000 steps during the Manila Sneaker Expo 8. This was actually the sneaker, guys, that I was wearing. To those who were wondering what I was wearing during that event. By the way, the link to that particular my coverage of the Manila Sneaker Expo 8 can be found down below. Now, anyway, I did wear it for an entire day, and I can tell you that this is one of the most comfortable luxury sneakers that you guys can put on feet, despite it being all leather. They were really on point in being able to put together the quality of luxury and the comfort of casual sneakers in this one simple black kick-ass sneaker. In terms of sizing, I did go through to size, fits like a glove, perfect. And one more thing, guys. If you don't like the look, if you don't like the color of it just being black, I have great news for you because they actually have the Mi Cesare program. So what you can do is that you can go to the Hermengildo Zenia store over at the Marina Bay Sands in Singapore, go to the iPad that they have there, and customize the colors of your own Mi Cesare or Cesare sneaker. So you can pick from a bunch of colors change it in any way you want and it will take them just six to eight weeks to be able to make the sneaker and have it available for you in their store which is already fast because if you check out the customization services of luxury shops such as louis vuitton it usually takes like what four months three months to be able to get the sneaker to you so this one you just have to wait like two months or six to eight weeks to be able to get the sneaker to you because they will handcraft it and hand make it depending on the colors and the styling and the overall materials that you want in the sneaker. Which brings me to a really kick-ass idea that I have. I am thinking of doing another giveaway, but I'm still working on the mechanics, but I want to share with them to you in advance. The mechanics I'm thinking are very straightforward. This is a really pricey shoe. And this, by the way, will be my most expensive giveaway to date. I am thinking of asking you, the viewers of this channel, to customize for me a design using the Cesare sneaker. I don't know how I can get you access to the design software, so I'll probably try to reach out to them and figure out how to do that. But I want one of you to design one, uh, and then the one that I pick, I will actually go to, again, to Marina Bay Sands, I'll give them the design, have it made, two pairs, one for me, and then one for whoever made that design. So uh, watch out for the mechanics of that one. I will be releasing it probably after I do the Realme 3 smartphone because we still have the ongoing giveaway for the van sneakers that ends this Sunday. And then we'll start the giveaway for the Realme 3, which will be another week. And then we finally get to the mechanics of my giveaway for a $1,000, a 50,000 peso custom luxury shoe from Ermen Gildo Zenia. That is probably the dopest and most insane and sickest giveaway I can ever think of because it is a design that you thought of, that you conceptualized, that we get to wear together. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are giving away five van sneakers. That's five, five winners. All you guys have to do is number one, subscribe to the channel. Number two, follow me on Instagram. Number three, hit the notification bell down below after subscribing and then click the link for the rest of the mechanics. After I announce the winner of the five van sneakers, we are actually going to announce the mechanics of the giveaway for the Realme 3 smartphone. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, now is the best time to do so. Guys, that's actually it for my unboxing and review of the Hermengildo Zenia Cesare. Again, my apologies if I butchered the pronunciation of the name of the brand. I tried my best and I hope my best was good enough for you guys. I love the shoe, man. I really, really like the shoe. I've been wearing it a lot uh, the last few days and I can see myself wearing it more like this in the next few months, next few years ahead. So again, uh, I'm Carlo. I appreciate the, the support that you guys have been giving to the channel for you watching this video. I hope you all had a fantastic week and I pray that you all have a restful, meaningful weekend up ahead. That's it for now. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom. Boom.